major mushroom cloud snakes skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. Okay, this is the aqueous solution. I'm going to pour this in here. And that aqueous solution contains the acid, the diacid. And this is a solution of the hexane diamine. It's dissolved in hexane, and hexane is less dense than water. So this solution is going to float on top of the other one. And then where the two solutions come together, the interface between these two solutions is where this reaction is going to take place. How many fingers do I have? Anyway, here we go. Well, maybe these were gloves for another species. Here we are. Okay, so I'm very carefully going to pour this down the side, and then where the interface is, we'll have contact between the diacid and the diamino uh, hexane. And the hexane layer is floating on the top here. But of course, where they come together is where the polymer can be made, where the condensation reaction is happening. So then I'm going to reach in here, and where the interface is, I'm going to pull out some nylon. So here we go. Now we'll see how much nylon we can pull out of this thing. There's a meter or so. <laughs> Two. Uh, there are records set for this and uh, so I think it's actually in the Guinness Book of Records. I'm sure we're going to beat that record today. What are we at? Four? Five? Six. Now you can see that you can get a lot of material out of a very small quantity. I only dissolved a few grams of, of the uh, acid and the, the hexane diamine in here, but we get a tremendous amount of material out of here. So on a large scale, this is done not with a whole bunch of people doing this, of course, but <laughs> <laughs> that would certainly be a minimum wage job, wouldn't it? Well, this stuff comes flying out of a machine as a, as a thread and it gets washed because this is actually an acidic, quite an acidic solution. It gets washed to remove the acid. It gets dried um, and then it gets spun into